Hello friends, uh, I bought this Rosmax uh, blood pressure monitor deluxe automatic version uh, model number MJ701 and uh, this is the standard box, box packaging bought it for around 1800 rupees with two years warranty um, now I'll just unbox it and uh, uh, inside you have this um, carrying case or travel case you can say uh, that's enclosing the entire thing now once you unzip it here is where you get the cuff this is the cuff uh, and uh, this is the main unit you can see it has a screen guard kind of film and uh, this is the battery compartment for four triple A batteries sorry double A batteries and here is the branding and the model information you have four nut bolts to open it on the right side you don't have anything on the left side uh, there's a hole to for the arm cuff and at the back you have the USB PC link to connect to the cable if you install the Rosmax software on your computer or download the app for your Android you can manage all your readings and the patient information as per profiles uh, two, two profiles can be created out here and multiple profiles can be maintained on the PC and here is the uh, DC source uh, it returns 12 volt but the Rosmax people sell the adapter that's 6 volts so 800 milliamperes I've tried both of them and it does work and in the front uh, you have the date changing plus icon and then you have uh, this um, time adjusting M is the memory this is the profile 1 and 2 button this is the power on off button this is the standard display that you have you get four batteries double A and here's the user manual and the warranty card along with it now I'll show you and uh, now I normally use the AC adapter cause uh, a lot of readings go throughout the day so battery will get consumed so I try to make it economical and I have used my own adapter I didn't bring it from the market that's costing around 500 for the AC adapter and 600 for the cable USB cable so here's uh, once I put the adapter you can see the LCD starts up and the date is blinking so you can set the date and the time as per pressing the plus button and then so now I can just turn it off just just by pressing the button once and now I'll arm the cuff that is there in my arm I'll just put it in the unit first and there are a lot of instructions in the manual how you need to do it and uh, also the precautions that you need to take so once I tie it in my hand and uh, I'll just turn it on you can see the zero is blinking and now my arm cuff is inflating slowly the reading is going up you can hear the motor noise that's working inside once the inflation is complete now it will start taking the reading slowly it starts going down as you see the mercury going down in the manual sphygno manometer and once this is done you see on the left side profile 1 and 
eye that is blinking shows hypertension level 1 and 60 is the memory reading 96 is the pulse rate 124 systolic and 99 is diastolic pressure that's pretty cool and it works very well and I've checked with the manual also and it's almost the plus minus 5% reading checked it with some doctors also and have worked very good it doesn't have a backlight that's the only thing <laughs> that I think could have been added but you can see, look for other models in case you have this kind of uh, problem but this is a very well built model the, it's not flimsy the box itself and uh, this will last pretty long uh, while day to day usage if you have any questions do let me know